Welcome to today's daily dose of mindset training. What we're going to be talking about today is our belief systems, where our beliefs come from, and how have we been programmed in a particular way to make us self-sabotage. Now, naturally, we are negative creatures. I mean, if you really think about it, do you start the day with a positive mindset? Are the first things that come out of your mind, oh, I'm really pumped for today, I'm excited for it to happen? Probably not. And a lot of that is environmental. And a lot of that is things that have been imposed on us, like the social norms, the expectations, the standards. But I want you to take yourself back a minute. Where do your belief systems currently come from? Who has given them to you? And I'm in no doubt, like myself, that they have come from childhood. The people that we were surrounded by, the people that were in our immediate environment, our culture, society, our community, all of their belief systems have been imposed on us. And as we move through life, they have shaped and created who we are. But there's good with this, don't get me wrong. But there's also some pretty negative sides which make us fit in and blend in and never really go out and succeed in what we want to do because we're being channeled and pushed in a particular way. And if you don't fit in with that crowd, then you could be embarrassed and people could shoot you down and try to drag you down. But I'm telling you now, like whatever you want to do, you can do. It's a matter of time, effort and energy and potentially backing it up financially. And if you haven't got the finances, then you need to go for the time, effort and energy and make time and find the energy and get motivated to do that, to be more and to achieve more and to not fit into these social norms. And that already seems overwhelming and it deters us. But that's because we've been channeled in a particular way and programmed in a particular way by our environment and those around us, that we just have to fit in and we can't grow. And a lot seems out of our reach. But what it comes down to is our resourcefulness. But we don't want to become resourceful because we're quite happy. It's in our nature to want to take the easy option. We want to be in our comfort zone. We want to survive. We're not built to thrive. I want you to thrive. I really do. Now, talking about self-sabotage, this is probably one of the biggest things I see people do on a continual basis. They want to grow. They want to make positive changes. They even have a little bit of success. But then we self-sabotage. Something happens. We fall off a little bit. We, we don't do things as well as we want to. Then we make excuses. And before you know it, we're shot down. We get inside our own head and we cut ourselves short. I've seen it in a lot of people. They have success with a particular nutritional approach or a program, but then they don't continue. They don't move forward. And when there's no continuation, there's no progression. And when there's no um, when there's no progression, there's no continuation. And if we're not growing, we're simply taking steps back. But we want to continually move forward. So I want you to be prepared for the journey ahead. Stop aiming for this short-term intensity approach where it's fast results this, get this, get that, and fit in with everyone else. Rewire that approach and take a sustainable approach and it will set you up for success in the long term. Notice that negative self-talk. Notice when you're about to self-sabotage and stop yourself in its tracks. You're either growing or dying. You're an ambitious creature and I know that because you're a human being. That is what has led us to be here. We need to kind of fight culture and our social norms. But by nature, we want to climb that hill over there. And when we get to the top, we look to the horizon, we try and climb something else. But we're not doing that in today's world. We are settling for average and mediocre results of just enough and maintenance mode. And when I get to here, I'm going to be happy. It's bullshit. And they're not even your belief systems. And I want you to ask yourself, is everything you've learned up until this point including your thought processes, are they technically true? Are they your thoughts? And if they're not, which nine times out of 10 are not, then let's start rewiring these and building better habits that you can sustain in the long term.